Hello my friends! So today I am bringing you a Trader Joe's holiday haul. I will have a disclaimer that it's mostly holiday because I got a couple regular groceries in here. But mostly holiday haul and I'm excited to do one of these because I haven't had access to Trader Joe's in like 12 years and before that I didn't know Trader Joe's existed. So um, I went a little crazy. I think the total was like $250 or something insane. Um, hopefully my husband doesn't see this. Just kidding. I did get a few items to gift, so luckily this is coming, some of it is coming out of my Christmas budget. So that makes me feel a little bit better. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want more videos like this, please be sure to leave me a comment so I know. Otherwise, I'm just gonna do my own thing and then who knows what you'll end up with. All right, so let's get going. Okay, you guys, I wanna preface this by saying that our house is currently in construction. So if there's anything weird in the background, this is a no judgment zone. The other thing that I want to talk about in the no judgment zone is my nails. You're going to see my nails in this. My fake nails that I had on to prevent myself from biting my nails, some of them broke off because I've been doing remodeling, decorating, and I've been too rough on them. So we're just going to mind our business and you're just not going to worry about that, okay? Just pretend you don't see it. Okay, so this is, like I mentioned, my... First time getting to experience a holiday at Trader Joe's. Um, so I went a little nuts. A lot of it is going to be Christmas gifts and I'll talk about that throughout. Okay, so I found these little ho hot cocoa snowmen, which apparently in 2020 was a hot commodity. So I bought five because I'm out of control. Um, so I don't know, we might do these for gifts for people here because I don't think shipping that is gonna work. Um, otherwise I will just enjoy those myself, thank you. Um, next here, we have these Astounding Multi-Flavor JoJo's. So I thought this was kind of cool, and the box just spoke to me. And it says it's got various chocolates with drizzles, sprinkles, and crumbles. So I don't know if it tells you. Aha. So it has a double chocolate, a peppermint, a peanut butter, and a vanilla ginger. I only got one box of that because we're not, like, huge JoJo fans, but why not, right? Okay. This Jingle Jangle stuff, every year it seems, comes up on my social media, and I always just, I need to know. The guy was nice enough, they didn't have any out on the floor, and then I saw them, like, un, you know, unboxing everything, and I was like, did you by chance already get the Jingle Jangle in and sell it out, because apparently it's, like, ugh, also a hot commodity, and he was like, no, I haven't seen it yet, but they're unloading the truck, let me go check. He comes out with three of them. I really wish that I had asked for like five because I have a feeling based on the description that I'm going to be obsessed with this, but um, I didn't want to be that person. He was even nice enough to be like, you sure you only want three? Because it's like he knows who I am more than I know who I am, but I still, anxiety took the best of me and I said no. So let me just show you guys what's in here. So we have milk chocolate candies, dark chocolate Jojo cookies, milk and dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Milk and dark chocolate covered pretzels. Dark chocolate covered caramel popcorn. Now, come on. So, I got three. If we don't like it, I'll send it as a gift. If we do like it, sorry family, you don't get to participate. Couple of non-Christmas items. John wanted some crunchy cookie butter and I needed nutmeg in my life. So, I got that. And then while we're doing non-Christmas, I got a loaf of their honey sweet whole wheat bread. And also... I got this maple streusel bread because I think this was a fall item. So I grabbed two. One is going to go in the freezer. Somebody, actually it wasn't just one person. A few people told me that this makes the best French toast and they are not liars. This makes the best French toast you will ever have. So if you have a Trader Joe's near you and they still have this, go get you some. Make yourself some French toast. I can't eat this much French toast in one sitting. I wish I could be that person, but what we did was we put it in Ziploc bags and threw it in the freezer, and then the night before we knew we were going to eat it, we just tossed it in the fridge to thaw. So that's why I got two this time, because I'm going to repeat that process, because it was perfect for quick breakfast. Not saying that's the most healthy and nutritious breakfast, but you know, have some protein with it, you'll be fine. Um, okay, back over to the Christmas stuff. Let me move this out of the way so I don't forget I already talked about it. Okay, back to the Christmas stuff. John and I, John more than me, but both of us, are obsessed with the Scandinavian swimmers. And during Christmas time, they have Scandinavian tidings. I don't know if it's the exact same, just in different shapes, but I don't care. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags. Most are going to be for us. I'm not even going to lie, but I might send a couple in Christmas boxes. We'll see. 
Next up, I got these moisturizing lip balm scents. It has a bunch of different scents in here. So we have almond cream, strawberry tangerine, watermelon, peppermint, raspberry cream, and green tea. The reason I got these is because we are, if you notice I'm very out of breath, it's because I'm eight months pregnant. So we are going to be doing like the labor and delivery nurse thank you baskets. And I thought this would be something awesome to throw in there so multiple you know, nurses can take some of those. Same idea, these little body butter trios I thought would be cool to throw in there. I ended up getting four boxes of these. It comes with citrus and cedar, brown sugar and fig. This helps here, Kate. Um, citrus and cedar wood, brown sugar and fig, and sugar plum. And it's a three pack and I think they were only like $7.99. And these body butters are supposed to be really good. So I thought throw these in the baskets and then also some Christmas gifts. Okay. Now this here, my mother-in-law actually got me this last year or maybe the year before for Christmas. And we loved it. Trader Joe's seasoning, if you haven't had it, is literally the best seasoning. Like it makes cooking so much easier because it's just a awesome blend of the best seasons, seasonings whatever, spices. It's just such a good blend of spices. Our personal favorite is the chili lime. That just makes everything awesome. This one is obviously a cult classic, the everything but the bagel seasoning. We love that on fish. And I also like to add it to um, sprinkle it on cucumber with cream cheese. That's really good. Everything but the elote is awesome on popcorn. So besides like adding it to chilies and things like that, which we do, it's awesome in popcorn. Cocoa cinnamon sugar, I haven't tried that yet, but I would imagine some toast with butter and then mix that in. Or even if you made like almond butter and Greek yogurt and mix that in, boom. And then last but not least, the spicy Italian style sprinkle. I made my homemade marinara the other day and I actually used this to give it a little bit of a kick because John likes it on the spicy side. So I did this, I did regular Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, and then also red pepper flakes to kick it up even more. So anyways, I got this as a gift because I just feel like that's such a great, such a great gift. Okay, over here, I only got one bag of these because who knows, I'm probably gonna regret that. Um, John loves peppermint, I hate peppermint, but for whatever reason, it's one of my cravings during pregnancy. I don't know what's happening because literally, anybody who's worked or known me in my life knows I hate peppermint. York peppermint patties, yucks, but right now we're loving peppermint. So I got one bag of these peppermint pretzel slims and then also these candy cane JoJo's. Again, John and I are not huge like cookie people, but I thought, why not? It's Christmas time. I got three of these uh, peppermint chocolate chunk cookie mixes. I got three of these and I'll probably make one for us. Um, and then the other two will be gifts because we don't need that many. I got one of these guys, it's chocolate covered. Oh, Lord, why do they do this to us? Leb cushion, leb cushion, you think? Leb cushion, leb cushion, I'm thinking leb cushion, leb cushion, cookies, leb cushion cookies. And it says it's a soft gingerbread with nuts and spices. And it looks like it's dipped in like a chocolate. Yeah, it, it says that, which I read, I read that already. Chocolate covered, um, not big gingerbread fans. But I do like it every so often, like I'll get a craving for it. So not even just during pregnancy, just sometimes. Okay, I got three of these little candles because they're only like $2.99 or something. And this is the cedar balsam. Did I say balsam weird? I feel like I did. Um, cedar balsam scented candle. I still feel like I'm saying that weird. These are only like $2.99. So I grabbed three of those for gifts. I don't know that I'll really use it because I went like overboard with candles lately. So it'll probably all be gifts. I thought this was just cute. It says it's a dark chocolate collection. I'm not gonna lie. This is like gift worthy presentation, but anything with dark chocolate girl, your girl is eating it. Okay. We're not going to play around. Now these I did get for gifts, even though I kind of want to eat them, but they're uh, Belgian truffle valentine boxes and they have just like a little assortment. I wonder if this is the same. Yeah, it's the same. Um, so it's just an assortment. It comes in this beautiful packaging. Perfect for gifts. And then last but not least, we have the stars. So I got one of the regular dark chocolate covered shortbread stars, and then I got one, two, three, four of the mini dark chocolate mint stars. So this, these guys, we're not gonna eat four of those. John will probably eat one, and then the other three will be gifts. So that 
is everything. It's a mess now, but we did it, you guys. That was the Trader Joe's haul of 2021. All right, you guys, so that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry to all my friends out in Hawaii that do not have access, or if you live just out in some rural area without a Trader Joe's access, my thoughts and prayers are with you. Uh, and yeah, that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to subscribe before you leave. All right, bye.